Welcome to Politics on the Wheel with Jay, and this is Elite TV. Welcome to 2024, and here we go again. Two state weakness, one of the deadliest attack during the Christmas, uh, the festive period. May the soul of all the departed rest in peace. And on New Year Day, everyone was expecting that the federal government under Bola Tinubu will address the situation of insecurity in the country by calling out, you know, the chief of army staff, the chief of defense, and all of them, you know, and trying to sympathize with those who love their loved ones, as well as their properties in Plateau State and as well cut across the whole country. But unfortunately, what he said was quite different, have no relationship with what is even happening in the country presently. But before we talk about that, let me give you a little bit of history uh, to that. On the 25th of December 2023, killing in Plateau State, we have had different kind of killing, uh, attack on Christian community in the past. On the 4th of December 2011, at least four bombings went out in a Catholic church near Abuja, killing at least 39 people. St. Teresa Catholic Church in Madela, where worshippers celebrated a Christmas Day Max, one of the bombers, Kebiru Sokoto, was arrested and he escaped. He was later found in Shetima's house, the current vice president of Nigeria. And another bomb blast again happened in the city of Jos, Plateau State. And we have a series of that that happened across the country. All these happened during Jonathan's administration. And after Jonathan left office, Buhari came into, into power. And since then, we, we hardly hear of, uh, you know, bomb blasts happening in churches, mosques, or marketplaces. And uh, someone even wrote that now that they are now in office, what do you expect? They now hit the ground running by, you know, marching through the streets, homes, and be killing people, villages, and all of that. And that is not far from the truth. Because when you look at the situations that is going on in Nigeria right now, there was bomb blasts here and there under Jonathan's administration. Now he left office, and what we see now is invasion. They now keep invading community from community to community. Before I go further, here is a video of a woman who indicted the current vice president of Nigeria, Senator Karim Shetima. And before then, Watch what La Mafia said about a governor, a sitting governor under Buhari's administration, who is, who is one of the sponsors of Boko Haram. St. Teresa Catholic Church in Madala, where worshippers celebrated a Christmas Day Max, one of the bombers, Kebiru Sokoto, was arrested and he escaped. He was later found in Shetima's house, the current vice president of Nigeria. And another bomb blast again happened in the city of Jos, Plateau State. And we have a series of that that happened across the country. All these happened during Jonathan's administration. And after Jonathan left office, Buhari came into, into power. And since then, we, we hardly hear of uh, you know, bomb blasts happening in churches, mosques, or marketplaces. And someone even wrote that now that they are now in office, what do you expect? They now hit the ground running by, you know, marching through the streets, homes, and be killing people, villages, and all of that. And that is not far from the truth. Because when you look at the situations that is going on in Nigeria right now, there was bomb blasts here and there under Jonathan's administration. Now he left office, and what we see now is invasion. They now keep invading community from community to community. Before I go further, here is a video of a woman who indicted the current vice president of Nigeria, Senator Karim Shetima. And before then, watch what La Mafia said about a governor, a sitting governor under Buhari's administration, who is, who is one of the sponsors of Boko Haram. One or two who have repented, they have sat down with us, not once, not twice. They told us that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Boko Haram and the bandits are one and the same thing. They have a sophisticated network. Parent. No, they said one of them is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. One of them. And they are not looking for money. To Before I play also the video of uh, this woman talking about Vice President Karim Shatima, this is what uh, the governor of Kaduna State said while he was in office. The, the, Kaduna governor, the Kaduna governor, as of that time, said, 
while I said anyone who kills a Fulani herdsman take a replayable loan. The Gardner State Governor, Nesri Erofai, has clarified his earlier comment where he said anyone who kills a Fulani herdsman takes a debt loan replayable in 100 years. Now, another flashback from Sarah Reporter said how we paid some Fulani to stop killing in Southern Cardona, says Erofai. Fear, which you just watched, talked about a sitting governor on that Buhari's administration who sponsored Boko Haram. Now, this is not to say that Erofai is uh, the governor that he was referring to, but this was, this was an allegation, although he never made any mention of anybody, but looking at what he said, Erofai said, made many Nigerians to be calling him one of those that is, you know, sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria. Now, here is uh, a video of uh, the indictment of the current vice president of Nigeria. Especially it, as it concerns security, you must have an enabling environment in order to do anything. So you cannot take someone that is virtually senile and another person that has been associated on several occasions with funding terrorism. That is Kasim Shatima. Kasim Shatima, we should not forget uh, uh, Kabiru, Kabiru Sokoto. Kabiru Sokoto was one of the, the, the most wanted terrorists, and he was found and arrested in his house. Let us understand and let us not forget this terrorism, this banditry, this carnage is not just happening by mistake. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. A multi-billion indust dollar industry because it, 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 it takes a lot, a lot of money on defense budget. It has a lot to do with the sale of drugs. It has a lot to do with mining and illegal bunkering and illegal and illicit uh, 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 mining. And look at the areas that are, that are generally affected by this. Take it is now obvious to you to understand that, you know, the reason why many Nigerians were actually not in support of the Muslim Muslim ticket, not just that, but the fact that Karim Shetima was the vice presidential candidate of APC back then, was so, you know, rejected by so many people, was because of this indictment. Now, somebody who was, you know, arrested for bombing a police could not be traced to his house or friends or anywhere, but could be traced to somebody. And it shows like what people say that show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. And this is the reason why many people are saying that this man was maybe linked to the sponsoring of Boko Haram or terrorism in Nigeria. This is a heavy allegation. And I'm here to see the reason why I'm ready to see Shetima coming out public, publicly to deny this allegation. For over three days now, this has been trending. Many people have been talking about this thing, calling Karen Shetima out. And we hope that the vice presidential candidate of Nigeria will be able to come out to clear this mess and make Nigerians believe that it has nothing to do with terrorism. And not just that alone, but you know, to sweep into action. The federal government needs to do something. If they want to believe, if they want Nigerians to believe that what is going on right now in uh, Plateau State, in uh, Kaduna, in uh, Bauchi, in, in, the northern, in the northern states in Nigeria, is something that... Uh, we have to believe that they ha the, like, the government hand is not involved, then they just have to end this. The Boko Haram we're talking about here cannot overpower our security agency. They can't. We have the manpower. We have the, the gadget. We have everything to take these people down. But we lack the political will. And this is the reason why they keep on saying that the government is the one sponsoring this. And some people say this is uh, this boils down to ethnic cleansing. And this takes me to what uh, Danjuma, T.Y. Danjuma said about what is going on in Plateau and other northern uh, states in Nigeria. Military is aware of what is going on and they are covering them up. Now we've seen video clips of when you know you see uh, um, you know, people carrying AK-47 but we had the chief of army staff saying that you why Nigerians are, cannot be permitted to carry some of these ammunition walking around. You see, and but then if Nigerians cannot carry ammunition walking around, but a headsman is carrying an AK 47 walking freely in the bush, 
And each now and then we'll keep hearing that they have attacked a particular community and nobody has been arrested for over eight years now. Nobody has been prosecuted. We went ahead to hear uh, them saying a repented Boko Haram can become the president of Nigeria. Wow. No wonder. Wow. And then now there's an allegation on the vice president of Nigeria, Karim Shetima. Remember, based on Nigerian political formation and calculation, if peradventure Tinibu do his eight years and his leaving office, what if Shetima said he was going to contest for the seat of the president? And with all this allegation, what will happen? Do you believe the Nigerians, you know, will take it lightly? And this is the reason why many people believe that Nigeria cannot be won. But I stand on the ground that our leaders need to come out and tell us what actually is going on. Not just what is going on, fix the problem. And I hope that the Vice President of Nigeria, Kerim Shetima, can defend himself from this. Because it will be, it's, it's already an embarrassing situation where our number two citizen is being accused of, you know, sponsoring terrorism i don't believe that he is he does he does that but then he have to clear the air because the statistics out there the the video out there things that are happening things that has happened in the past has proved you know beyond reasonable doubts that he's involved but then i don't believe that i just hope he can come out clean and defend himself and put to an end this insecurity in the north what do you think? Remember, politicians don't really care. Remember, I always said it was allegedly. It didn't come from my mouth. You only watched the video and you saw what the woman said. Thank you for watching.